Welcome back to the Haas Online Training Series. In this session, we're going to take another look at the Haas Script Script Editor, specifically the IntelliSense feature. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing we need to do is open up a new test script to work with. So to do that, all we're going to do is hover over the left-hand side and go to Script Editor. From here, we're going to click a new script. And let's go ahead and give it a name and a description. Once the script is loaded, we can go ahead and begin. And it's very simple to get the IntelliSense to, be, to begin working. All we have to do is start typing. So in this case, what I want to use is the place by order function. And to do that, I just start typing P. And you'll notice that the moment I type the letter, all functions and enums that are start with that letter are immediately presented. And as we continue typing, you can see that it begins to narrow down all, po all the possibilities until we find what we want. In this case, we have the place by order, and we can hit enter to go ahead and complete the function name. We can also can force IntelliSense to pop up by hitting control space, and you'll see that it also opens up. Now, once we begin filling out the parameters, we can do the first parentheses, you'll notice a window pops up with a list of parameters and different suggestions. This is to help fit you figure out what parameters need to be filled in and also what other functions can be used inside that parameter field. Now one thing you'll notice immediately is right here, number price is bolded and underlined. This is to help signify which parameter you're currently filling in. So in this case, if I put 11,600 and a comma, you'll see it immediately jump over to the next parameter. Another thing you'll notice is that some of these parameters have square brackets around them. For example, string market. What this means is that that parameter is optional and it does not need to be filled in order for place by order to work. So let's go ahead and put an amount here and like that. So this will work. However, let's say we want one of those optional parameters like timeout. What we can do is we can put a squiggly back in, put timeout equals, we'll just put a 10 here. And now, what we have is we have that optional parameter filled with a number we specified. We also can put a comma here and continue to fill out the different um, variables. So in this case, let's say we wanted to leave a note of ASDF, that will work also. Now, another feature I want to talk about is we can actually hover over any of the green Haas script functions to get a more detailed list, uh, description about it. So here you can see a description about the function itself, the parameters and optional parameters just like you saw when we were filling out the parameters and the return value which is a result a string of the unique order identifier. Now not all functions return a single parameter some of them return multiple parameters which is the next thing we're going to look at. So if we go ahead and let's go delete this and we look up the trade market container. Go ahead and do that. We're going to hover over it and you'll see that not only does the trade market container have a return value but it says dynamic and it returns the market information in an array and here you can see that it does in fact re return multiple data sets and we have everything from a base currency quote currency contra name so on and so forth so how would we actually retrieve and utilize that data well there's two ways we can do it we can do it based on the data index itself or if we want to be more explicit about it, we can use the name of the index. So how will that look? So let's go ahead go ahead and just do A equals, and then if we do B equals A at one, that will give us the base currency. But what if we didn't want to use the index number? Well, we can go ahead and do this instead, using the lowercase name base currency. Now hopefully that this video helped explain how the IntelliSense feature works, and not only how it works, but how it can help you when writing Haas scripts. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And of course, until next time.